hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm here to talk about my first impressions after 24 hours with the Galaxy Note 8. And yeah, I like it way better than the SA+. Alright, now let me get into the explanation of why. Now, first and foremost, I have a cheap case on here because I'm still waiting to get good cases on here. But right away, I could tell, with or without a case, this has so much of a better grip than the SA+. With this, it's more akin to the Note 4. If you guys ever had that phone, it was more square style, but it had a really good grip to it. The problem with curved display phones is that these have a curved side and you don't really get the great grip you would want to make sure you don't drop the phone. With the Note 8, you definitely get that. It's a much better grip to it, and I think it's just definitely a lot more appreciated. You'll see it if you actually get to hold it in your hands. It has a really good grip to it, and that just goes a long way because after holding it for a full day, you really see the difference, and I'm like, no, no, I, I don't want this SA+. Plus. I want to hold this Note 8 because it feels better in the hand. So although that's a small gripe, definitely going to be a big one for me. Now, I'm not gonna go on and on about the S Pen because I, yes, have already fallen back in love with it, and it really is great. There is nothing like the S Pen out on the market in a phone style. It's not a stylus because you really have so much more functionality than a standard stylus does. When I always try to explain it, I'm like, Samsung has legit claim to it not being a stylus because this can do way more than a stylus can. It can highlight text that you can't highlight, like stuff on Instagram that I'm already kind of doing throughout the day. And it's just really awesome to be able to do any and thing you want with the pen. It really is great. And playing around with the new features, some are gimmicky, but uh, overall, really great experience with the S Pen. All right, now how about the rest? How is the uh, OS changed? Is it better? Is it the same? Do you notice the RAM difference? I can say yes, I actually do notice the RAM difference and I'm a power user, keep in mind. I am a user that people are always surprised when like, oh, iOS never slows down. Every single iPhone I've ever owned has crashed on me and has slowed down. I am a power user, that's what that means. That means I have thousands of apps running, if not hundreds, uh, realistically, but I have so many apps running simultaneously at all times. And even when I put the Note 8 through its paces, and yesterday was the day of, of course, setting everything up, downloading over 150 apps on my phone, making sure all the accounts are set up, doing all that stuff. The battery was good, which we'll get to in a second about battery life. And it really was a much more fluid experience. Not to mention that honestly, at least with the T-Mobile variant of the S8 Plus, I've had Wi-Fi issues. This is documented. Samsung has done nothing about it over the last two updates, but ever since June, I've had Wi-Fi issues with my SA Plus and it really frustrates me. And it's more apparent as I use phones like the LG G6 or the OnePlus 5, other phones that I have in my house and they're not having issues connecting to Wi-Fi. My Galaxy Tab S3 isn't having issues connecting to my Wi-Fi, but only my SA Plus is. So that is rather annoying to me and it's just was so nice to have a phone that has no Wi-Fi uh, issues. And as I set up a new line uh, this morning, has no signal issues as well. Now that being said, let's get to the big question that everyone wants to know. Well, I don't want to get the Note 8, by the way, I said this too, because the S8 Plus has a bigger battery. So the Note 8 isn't going to be as good. Let's go over the battery, because I can already give you my first real life testing of battery life. Now I'm going to go more in depth in another video for this, but this is just to give you guys an idea of how the battery life is so far. So in my first day, Keep in mind, my first full day was, again, setting the phone up, putting it through its paces. I always kept it at the full brightness just because I always promise you guys that's what I'm going to do when I test out the battery so we can see how long it gets. At full brightness, this is what we got. We got nine hours of usage and uh, about six hours and 40 minutes or 39 minutes almost exactly actually uh of screen on time which isn't bad at all actually that almost is on par with what we got with the s8 if i'm not mistaken the first time we tested it out again the first day when we did everything that was the same kind of battery life we got 
So that's actually not bad at all. But what about the second day? Second day, full photo day, did a lot of photos, had to stream the uh, boxing fight, had to do a bunch of social network posts once I did those photos. So I did a lot of social media. So let's check it out how it lasted. So I have my side sync up. Let me go into settings. Scroll over here, device manager, battery, battery usage. So obviously we're just bumping up a little bit. So I have used it about 13 hours because I did a full charge and I have a video on how long it took to fully charge coming up. Uh, but with this, you can actually see it's 13 hours of uh, usage throughout the day. I was at about 15% uh, I would say it got to at its lowest part. And unfortunately while I've connected it, it's been charging a little bit, but it got to about 15% after 13 hours. Not bad per se, not perfect, but not bad definitely to say the least. Obviously it could last for most people throughout the day. And the screen on time today was about four hours and 41 minutes. Now again, I was doing a lot of social media. I was again streaming uh, stuff. Oh, I did forget to mention actually, on the very first day I was trying to drain the battery life. So when you see that 4% YouTube, oh and also the benchmarks of course, but when you see that 4% YouTube on yesterday, that was because I literally left it playing a playlist that was a couple of hours to drain the battery all the way through when I went to go to sleep. So that's that one over there. And as for today, again, this was a full day of usage. I took it off the charger. I want to say, or does it have it there? I want to say it was around 1 p.m. or so. So that adds up uh, to today's time right now. So yeah, guys, that was about what kind of battery life it got. So overall, it's not a bad battery life at all and definitely one that I think most people would be just fine with. But what do I always say is the two things people care most about, battery life and camera quality. The camera quality is better. And yes, a lot of the photos with this live blur look really awesome. If you don't believe me, check out my social media uh, down in this link right here at YouTube Tech Guy, and you can actually see a lot of the photos that I took with it, but let's compare them to the S8. So first of all, a lot of people uh, always have selfies as an importance, and I'm kind of like Inception right here. Let me move that a little bit. All right, so with this, I can already see a big difference. And again, this is through optimizing Samsung technology. Of course, they're optimizing their camera to be better and better every few months, but this is now. So keep in mind that the Note 8 does a much better job in the darker areas. And yes, we do have a full camera comparison coming up. Not only that, but we already uh, have taken photos with the iPhone 7 Plus, the Pixel XL, the G6, so all of those photo comparisons coming and the OnePlus 5. So that being said, this is a lot better. Actually, if you uh, pinch to zoom and see my uh, wife's uh, dress in the corner of the photo, it looks clear. Overall, the Note 8 looks like a clearer shot. Even the dark area in the back over here looks a lot better. So yes, the selfies have had a major improvement. This is called the Extreme Test. We'll get more into it when we go over it, but it has the darker areas better and the lighter areas much better. So we'll get more into it and I'll zoom into it full uh, with the photos uh, for you to see the difference later. But not only that, we also have this low light comparison. And this is where it really stands out for me. The low light has definitely been improved. We finally get rid of that haze and glow that Samsung has had for the last year. And you can definitely see the difference here. On the Note 8, not only does it handle the lens flare much better, JJ Abrams would be very sad, but you definitely have a better overall quality and far less glow and hazel that, again, we've gotten on Samsung for the past year. So a much better low light experience. My guess is, is the secondary camera, uh, if we uh, are meant to believe the documentation that Samsung did in a couple weeks ago on our mobile weekly coverage, uh, that Samsung was using the second lens to get better low light quality, basically judging out of further distance and coming up with a better f-stop and everything to use for that particular light setting. And it would affect the ISO, the white balance, and even the white balance is better here as well. So overall, you're getting a much better experience with the camera quality as well. 
So yeah, when people are going to ask me, well, what do you like better? Is the Note 8 really worth it? I can tell you after spending one full day with it, over over a day really, it's my second day with it now. Um, yeah, I, I really have loved this phone so much better than my S8 Plus. And not only that, but I, I'm glad I'm trading it in and I wasn't sure I was going to be. So overall, again, this is obviously a review unit, but I did buy my Note 8 and I'm returning my SA Plus. Overall, I like this a lot better, and this is actually of using it for a day. It's not just, you know, unboxing it and saying, oh, well, A and B are there and this is the info, and just kind of deciding off of that. I really wanted to actually use it for over a day and really tell you guys my feedback after experiencing it and using it and seeing what the differences were. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Again, let me also know what videos you wanna see on the Note 8. I have about 30 lined up over the next week, so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, and make sure you check out our Q&A session that we're going to have later today, Sunday, on Mobile Weekly at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.